If you're a beginner to email service providers, this video is for you. We're going to talk today about how I could not decide between email service providers as a beginner when I very first started email marketing. I have tried ConvertKit, MailerLite, and Flowdesk. So I'm going to give you the nitty gritty on my experience as a beginner with each of those email service providers, what the pros are, what the cons are, and what I think is good about each of them and what I feel like could use some work. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing, I am going to give you a spoiler. I am going to tell you exactly how I rated each email platform based on my personal experience. You may have your own experience and that is fine. According to my own opinion, ConvertKit, I believe, earns the top spot with 4.25 stars and MailerLite comes in in a very close second with four stars, then followed by Flowdesk with 3.5. Now, the four categories that I reviewed was cost, integration, functionality, and ease of use. I felt like those were the four main considerations that I had when I started my email marketing. So let's get into ConvertKit first. And the reason this one came out on top is really overall the functionality integrations and how easy it is to get started. So ConvertKit, the more email subscribers you get, the more it costs you. So when you get started, you can get started on a free plan, but it does not come with automations. And to me, if you're gonna do email marketing, you should have automations. Like that is bare bones, something you should have. My opinion, because we're all busy and we don't wanna to have to manually send a welcome sequence to each brand new subscriber. We should have that ability from the start. So to get started with automations, you do need the creator account, which is $9 a month. So when you sign up for that, then you do have your full automations and that's up to 300 subscribers. If you get 301 subscribers, you're now on the $29 a month plan. So that happened with me and I'll be honest, at first I wasn't super thrilled, but the fact is I ended up sticking with ConvertKit over the other three after giving them all a try because it is so easy to get set up. The automations are visual. You can tag people and send them into different sequences. And as you get into more advanced email marketing, those things become much more important. So the ability to tag, set conditions, put people in groups and segments. There, there's really nothing you can't do with ConvertKit. So knowing that my plan is to grow my list as big as I can and market to each subscriber as individually as possible, I went with ConvertKit. So for cost on ConvertKit, I gave it a three out of five because it increases the more subscribers you have and after you get a thousand subscribers, it's gonna be your most expensive platform. I gave ConvertKit a four out of five on ease of use because overall it is very easy to get set up with automations and tagging. It is a little bit more confusing the more advanced you get, but that could just be me. It, it's likely user error. They also have really great tutorials to kind of walk you through things and you can find a lot out there on YouTube on how to use ConvertKit. The other reason I stuck with ConvertKit is I started an email marketing membership with Email Marketing Heroes. And not only is it the best membership out there for learning email marketing, bar none, but it really has some more advanced segmenting techniques. And in order to do that, I needed a system that made it easy for me because I don't want to have to get into the nitty gritty on the techie side. ConvertKit makes it pretty easy, but it is a little bit more complicated the more advanced you get. So that's four out of five because I'm looking at this from a beginner's perspective. If you're more advanced, it's probably super easy. The next portion I went through was integrations. Now the integrations on ConvertKit is the best. I give it a five out of five you're easily able to integrate ConvertKit. WordPress, you have a plugin. Shopify makes it easy. Squarespace makes it easy. I mean, it's just the easiest platform to integrate in pretty much everything. 
I haven't run into anything that does not integrate with ConvertKit yet. There's probably something out there, but I haven't found it. You can also use it with like Zapier, those kind of automation systems. So it works really well with those. So five out of five for integrations on ConvertKit. Functionality, I give it a five out of five because like I said before, you can pretty much do anything on ConvertKit. You wanna get into more complicated segmentations, ConvertKit's your email marketing platform and their customer service is top notch. So I've had questions and concerns a couple of times with ConvertKit, they get right back to you. You can use the chat feature, you can set up a ticket, whatever you need. And they are very good at really getting back to you and helping you solve your problem. It is definitely one to consider. And if you're interested in the membership I spoke about, I have a link down below to a freebie that they set up called Click Tricks that will help you actually get your email list to start clicking on the links in your email because opening isn't just a, isn't enough, right? We need people to click on our offers, click on, you know, links to our blogs, our videos, whatever we're doing. So this is a really good starting spot for that and it's free. So highly recommend it. They're amazing. They're funny. You're going to be super happy with it. So that is going to be linked down in the description below. If this has been helpful so far, please hit the like button so that more people can see the video. I really appreciate it. And next, we're gonna go ahead and get into my number two spot, which is MailerLite. Now, MailerLite is amazing. I think it was a really strong contender for the first spot. The reason why I love MailerLite to get started for beginners is their free program, their free version is awesome. It's the best of any free version I've seen. You can get up to a thousand subscribers with full automations. You can set up a website, landing pages, automations, all of the above. You're good to go there. That's what I love about MailerLite the most is the cost and the free version are fantastic. And I gave the cost a five out of five because their free version is amazing. And they're, as you upgrade, it's a lot more affordable than ConvertKit. For your growing business, up to a 1,000 subscribers is $13 a month, and then up to a 1,000 subscribers for their advanced is $27 a month. It comes with some additional features, but honestly, you don't need them when you're very first starting. You can certainly get them if that's something that you want, but the cost does go up as you get more subscribers but it's still a little bit more affordable than ConvertKit. Ease of use for MailerLite, I gave it a three out of five. Now this is the very first email service platform or uh, provider that I used, okay? So this is coming in from, I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> with email marketing. And when I got in there, I found it a bit of a struggle to figure out how I set up the forms and embed the forms and then getting them to go into my website it was difficult for me. Now, I did learn how to do it. So it is not so difficult that I would say, if you're a beginner, don't try this one. You absolutely can figure it out. It's probably just gonna take you a little bit of time and maybe some videos. And heck, you may be better at it than me and figure it out like that. At this point, it's easy for me. It's not super hard. So I don't want to deter you from this, but when I very first started, I did find it slightly complicated on how to get those groups and segments and try to get people tagged correctly and get those forms set up, that kind of thing. To me, it wasn't quite as intuitive as ConvertKit was. As far as integrations with MailerLite, when I very first started MailerLite, they didn't have a plugin for WordPress and it was definitely more difficult to get your forms embedded. Now I gave this a four out of five because they have actually really improved their integrations. They now have a plugin with uh, WordPress and you can integrate it with pretty much any other platform. So their integrations are coming a long way. I still find ConvertKit is just more widely used, widely known and easier to integrate, but it is still a four out of five really solid integrations through MailerLite. Now, as far as functionality, MailerLite has really good functionality. You can segment and get people into groups and really get that nailed down. It's a little bit more complicated in my opinion than ConvertKit where I can see, I'm gonna take this subscriber, I'm gonna put this tag on them and then they're gonna go into this sequence. After they're done with this sequence, we're gonna add this tag and put them into this sequence, right? Like it's a visual, it makes sense in my head. 
And with Mailer Lite, it is not, to me, quite as intuitive as it is in ConvertKit, but it does have really good functionality. So I wouldn't deter you from Mailer Lite. If cost is a main issue for you, but you still want some good functionality, I think Mailer Lite is a really solid option for you. The final one is going to be Flowdesk. It is my lowest scorer, but don't get me wrong, I like Flowdesk. I don't think it's a terrible platform or anything of that nature. What I do like about Flowdesk is their cost. So I put them as a four out of five on cost because they don't have a free program. So there, there is a 30 day free trial you can get, 50% off your first year. I actually have the link down below. The links to actually all of these are down below and they are affiliate links. So if you choose to go with any of these platforms, I will make a small commission. So full disclosure on that, I appreciate your support if you do end up going with one of these platforms. But Flowdesk, let's get back to that, has a flat fee of $38 a month. Now, when you're getting started, that feels a bit high, but when you have 50,000 subscribers and you're at $38 a month, that is extremely affordable. Overall, the cost structure is good because you're not in the hundreds of dollars range when you get a lot more subscribers. So that is a really good perk for Flowdesk. I wish they had a free version, but they don't. They just have that three free month so that you can try it out. But definitely if you're interested in Flowdesk, click on the link, you're gonna get that 50% um, off your first year and a free month. So Flowdesk also has checkouts, but the checkouts are an additional $26 a month. So if you decide to go with checkouts, it is a bit more expensive, but like I said, it does not increase in price. That is the flat fee that you're gonna be paying, paying forever. Now ConvertKit also has checkouts and they are at no additional charge when you have that creator account. So keep that in mind when you are looking at those, comparing those two, if checkouts is something that's important to you. Ease of use for Flowdesk, I gave a five out of five. I think Flowdesk is very easy. It is not a complicated platform. You can see the automations, you can segment your list pretty well. So very easy to set up. If you're nervous about tech skills and you feel like I don't want to worry about having to tag people and move them into different segments, I just want to say, hey, this is the newsletter they signed up for. This is their segment. Flowdesk is going to work perfectly fine for you. They have beautiful templates, gorgeous emails. I mean, that's kind of their selling point. They really gives you the, the ability to customize with different fonts and colors and just have a really beautiful email when it goes into your customer's inbox. Flowdesk integrations I gave, it's my lowest at two out of five. Integrating Flowdesk was the most difficult for me. You have to put code into the header and in line where you want the, the opt-in to go. Is it impossible? No, I did figure it out, but it took me a while, like a lot of trial and error. It was frustrating. I had to give it up for a day and then go back in, rewatch a video, and I finally figured it out. But in, integrating it into your website was challenging for me. As far as functionality goes, I gave Flowdesk a three out of five. Now, the reason for the three out of five is because it does not break things down as much as MailerLite or ConvertKit. So if you want to add specific different tags, it doesn't really have a tagging system. It's just segments. There may be an expert out there that knows how to do it, but I didn't see any tagging capability in Flowdesk. So I just don't see how you can really get down to the nitty gritty with that system. But that is just my experience. And tr full disclosure, I didn't go deep on it. Like to me, if it's not easy to figure out, I'm done. So I started with MailerLite. I went to ConvertKit. This is crazy. Like I tried all three in my first year trying to figure out what made sense for me. So I tried MailerLite because it was free and it was a little bit more difficult. I went to ConvertKit and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. And then I went back to MailerLite when the cost increased and tried that again. And it was fine, but I couldn't get it to tag quite as well as I wanted it to with my list. And then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give Flowdesk a shot because I think some of these beautiful emails are just so pretty. So I gave it a shot and the emails were beautiful and I tried the checkouts. Those were super easy to set up, like drag and drop, easy, easy, and it gives you an upsell at the end. So the checkouts are really cool. But I ended up going back to ConvertKit when I went into that email marketing membership and realized, 
wait, if I really want to take my email marketing to the next level, I need to be on ConvertKit. It is the platform that has all the training on it, has the full capability, and that's why I ended up going with ConvertKit. I still think it's you know relatively affordable. You're not talking thousands of dollars a month. I'm on the $29 a month plan right now, and it works fine and affordable. We're good to go. That is where I landed with my email marketing platforms. But like I said, the other two platforms are good. It just really depends on what's important to you. So if cost is the biggest driver for you, I would go with MailerLite. If ease of use, functionality, integrations, that kind of thing is something that's super important to you, ConvertKit. If you want beautiful emails and the ability to drag and drop and customize and have your own colors and fonts and, and templates that are just gorgeous, and you also think, I don't wanna worry about the cost going up, Flowdesk is gonna be the platform for you. So all the links to these platforms are in my description. If you decide to click on them and use my link, thank you so much. If this video was helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and I will make more videos like this for you. I am so happy that you tuned in today. Thank you so much for watching this video. You have a great day and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.